there, everybody. Welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. So, as you guys may or may not know, I am a huge fan of the shotgun. A lot of people on stream have been asking me, hey man, can you make a video on your shotgun load and how to be better at shotgun? Well, today is that day. So, if you want to hit shots like these, oh my gosh, <laughs> or shots like these, thanks, bud, or even shots like these, yeah. Got this guy off his sight. Oh, just want a nastiest triple kill. Then make sure to watch this video till the end because I will give you guys some tips and tricks. Maybe not some tips and tricks, just more some, some tips to how to be better with the shotgun. Again, if you guys haven't, make sure to watch me on my live stream channel. We're getting close to that 700 mark. Once we get to 1,000, we'll be able to monetize, which will be some lit, lit giveaways, obviously. Again, link is gonna be in the description as well as the first pinned comment. So, to show you guys, this is the loadout I usually rock when rocking shotguns. We're gonna start off with, obviously, the main shotgun that you should be using. It's a by 15 I'm gonna do a quick disclaimer. If you do want to use the KRM, that is definitely gonna be a better shotgun than this. I do not have the KRM, so I will not be able to use it. You have a choice between the by 15, and honestly, if there's any choices, there's literally no choices. Let's be honest here. There's, there's only the by 15 you should be using. The HS is a strictly worse gun. It has a longer cock time, so it goes takes a little longer to basically reload. The uh, striker and also the balloon, HS balloon, whatever, those are not good, especially since you can't really one hit with those. I mean, you can if you like tap with the HS balloon, actually it's the HS um, 2126. You could technically one tap it, but you have to hit all the shots. But again, don't even have to worry about it. The buy 15 is your, the way to go. Now, once you pick the skin you like, I'm picking the Cupic Illusion. I used to use the Lunar New Year a lot. This one matches my outfit. Again, I'm really into that. Drip, 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 but this is what you should be rocking. So we're gonna talk about perks and attachments. Uh, we're gonna talk about perks after, but attachment first. So the main two that you should have is Laser Sight and Long Barrel. There's not really much options. The one thing that's always a trap is a suppressor. Do not use a suppressor. It basically makes you hit marker almost all the time. So some people like to use a suppressor so that people don't know where you are, but honestly, it doesn't matter because it's better for you to get one or two trades and then after go off, maybe die, get a few more trades. So this is usually what I like to rock. I use fast reload because generally you're not gonna be able to shoot. You shouldn't be shooting 10 shots. You should only be shooting eight shots and then reloading and get those reload faster in between fights because a lot of times you just take one, maybe two, max three people at the same time. And then once you've done those three fights, you're gonna wanna run away. So you're gonna wanna run and reload while you're running. So that, that way you can take full advantage of the faster reload and come and fight someone else instead of being caught in between a reload animation and try to kill someone else. It just doesn't work. But this is what I'm rocking. Definitely, uh, in my opinion, probably the best way. And when it comes to secondary, it doesn't matter. I use the um, uh, SRSM. RS, I just call it the RPG, but that's just good for shooting down UAVs. Now, if we're gonna talk about whatever, um, usually I don't use a nade, I'm using it aesthetically. I usually like putting the trip mine, just because you put the trip mine behind you and you run forward and you start hitting people, so that's usually what I like to rock. And then you gotta get the trophy system, but again, you can use a smoke. A smoke works really well as well. I usually use smoke or trophy system. I have the trophy system, but honestly, you should probably be rocking the smoke so you can smoke in and rush in and try to shotgun people. Now there's a few tips that you should kind of know. I'll kind of show it to you guys once we get into like a, a, a game. I'm not gonna go into like a real game. I'm gonna go like maybe in like a bot lobby or maybe just a regular game and I show you guys what kind of stuff you can do. I rock lightweight. I think that's the best one. Just so you can move a little bit faster. You can also use flat jacket if you're not planning on using hard wires. So I am using hard wires. So if you don't use um, hard wire, maybe use flat jacket, but hard wire is really, really nice. I also can uh, see people use ghost so that, that way you don't get UAV so you can sync up behind people. So there's either two options. Either you're running a lightweight hard wire and you were dead silent. It's always gonna be dead silent no matter what. You have to put dead silent on everything, but rocking the lightweight with the hard wire or you can rock the ghost with the, um, Flat jacket. So that's what I'm rocking. Now I'm gonna give you guys some tips while you're in the game on how to get those shotgun shots. So let me just jump into a, a regular, I guess, domination game. And then afterwards we'll show you guys, uh, actually, re realistically speaking, let me tell you guys, okay. Before we jump into a game, I'll tell you guys, if you're playing in rank, the game modes you should be using a shotgun is, is generally in TDM, maybe frontline sometimes, but domination is really hard to use it on. But you can knock people off the point, but a lot of times they'll be able to laser you before you laser them. So I don't recommend it. It's not possible. Gregory did it. But if you're going to pick up 
if we're gonna pick game modes, Team Deathmatch is the best one. I actually, I wanna show you guys gameplay at the end of me going shotgun with the, what is it, like 17 kills on Crossfire. So I was able to get a lot of kills on Crossfire, but I'll explain to you guys basically how we can do that. Actually, I can probably show it to you guys once I get into a game. SND is a good time to play it. Uh, however, I recommend only doing it while you're defending. A lot of time when you're defending, people are gonna be rushing you, so you get a shotgun, you hide somewhere, you can rush through. They don't expect you to rush, but that's what I like to do. What I recommend is you don't rush. You stay behind and try maybe to get a few kills. Just, just catch picks because when you're defending is the best way. On offense, you can rock a shotgun. You can catch picks, but a lot of times they're going to be defended. They're going to be hiding behind a wall. It's not going to be as easy. So we're just going to jump into a um, a game of TDM. And I'm going to show it to you guys while we're on. Uh, where is that map that we played? We played Crossfire last time. So I'll show you guys how you can kind of more or less play with the shotgun. All right, before we jump into a game... Let me just show you guys the score streak I would usually be rocking. So definitely the UAV is going to be one of them. So personally, what I like doing is going like a small kind of um, a build. So it's, we have the, usually the shock RC I like rocking. I like rocking UAV and it depends on really what I'm trying to do. Um, usually Molotov will help me get the UAV faster, but realistically speaking, the hunter killer drone is probably the better one or even the care package, depending on really what you're trying to do. I usually run the, the Molotov so that way I can rotate through my UAV a lot faster. But if you want to be able to do a little bit better, and if you're, uh, you're if you're more, um, what's the more I'm looking for? Uh, confident in your skills, you should drop the care package. The care package is something that's like low, low down, high upside. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys if I'm able to get into a game with Crossfire on TDM. Just to show you guys more or less how you can use a shotgun in bigger maps like this. And there's some maps that you actually can't use it, believe it or not, like Nuketown. Shotgun only is really, really hard, but on bigger maps like these, it's gonna be no problem. But I'm gonna show you guys some tips and tricks while we get into the game. All right, so on bigger maps like these, generally speaking, you don't wanna be going down the middle, you don't wanna go to the side, you kinda wanna go on the other side. But for like just regular tips and tricks for how to shotgun, a lot of times you're basically gonna wanna slide, you wanna go jump, slide through raw and try to get hit shotguns. And a lot of times you're gonna be doing flick shots. You're not gonna be straight up aiming it. You're not gonna be, I personally don't like scoping in. You can if you like, if you're like aiming in here, you wanna scope, but the spread is not that big of a difference. I mean, it does happen. You can actually see, let me see if I can find someone here. As you can see, We just got here. Get that guy here too. I'm gonna reload. Reloading. That's where the fast reload comes. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was reloading. See, that catches you. If I was able to kill that, it would have been really, really nice. So again, you guys saw, I wasn't really scoping in, but I was able to get three kills. Obviously the further kills you want, but scoping in kind of kills a little bit of the time. That guy was like AFK. So you guys can see, you always want to slide after a kill. Easy right there, shotgun kills. Right, you're always flicking, you're never really aiming your shot. You kind of want to try to get those kills as they're walking by. Like this guy right here. Oof, oh, see, that's why you don't want to really go in the middle. I was trying to go to the right, you always want to slide right after. See, I got my UAV and my shock RC. So I'll show you guys where the shock RC is really nice because it actually shows you guys where they're going. You'll be able to get a few shotgun kills and you never really want to use it, the RC right away. You kind of want to use it like in case someone's close by. Like if you're, oh. If you see like an enemy just chilling around, like in this map, it's not too amazing. Like right there, you're gonna see this guy get pop. So yeah, you definitely want to be using it. Like in case you're like in a pickle and you're hiding and someone's chasing you behind a corner. There's gonna be a guy in here too, I think. Oh my god, I got lasered there. But yeah, it's just simple stuff like that. You always want to be moving. You never want to be standing still. You want to try to find rush. And you're, you're most of the time, you're not. You, you do want to, like, best case scenario, you want three for ones. But generally speaking, you want to get two for ones. At least one for ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, r rushing down the middle like this is a bad idea. You're going to get killed almost instantly, right? Just showing you guys what you should not do. If you're going to do anything like that, you definitely just want to go to the other side of the map. Slide in, drop a smoke, something like that. And just rush through and try to get... See, now they have a UAV, so you definitely gotta shoot down the UAV first. Like, right there, boop, shoot down the UAV, and then rush, right? Once you shoot down the UAV, you're gonna rush in. You don't wanna be... Rough. Can't be potato. And obviously, you're gonna pay the potato once in a while. It happens to everybody. But getting plays like that, you'll be able to get triple kills, double kills. Just by being able to flick those shot. There's gonna be a guy right there. Oof. Right? 
So you gotta be you gotta be be rushing. If they start pushing you, you gotta move back, try to flank. You always gotta be trying to flank. You're not trying to go straight towards them. Because once you say oh I just I just teleported. I just where am I? I don't know what, how did I get there? Anyway. So you just definitely wanna be flanking them. You never wanna be chasing them straight forward. Then you gotta get the hives out. Especially in bigger maps like this where people are gonna be camping. The spawns may have flipped. I'm just gonna hit this person here. There's gonna be another guy, the sniper over there. I'm just gonna rotate through. Oh, we're gonna get hit from behind. There's gonna be a guy here. Be able to flank around because you know they're gonna be camping around. You have highs, you can definitely rock those highs right now. Yeah, and we're gonna win that. So yeah, this is just a regular game, but let me show you guys a ranked games, and once you guys will see, it's almost similar style. You're just rushing around, trying to get one or two kills. Generally speaking, in like TDM, as long as you're trading two to one, you're doing well, and a lot of times you're not even gonna do that. Optimally, like one to one's not a great deal, uh, except for SNDs, it's not bad if you one for ones. But if you're able to get two kills, optimally three kills per death is usually a good good sign of you're doing well. But one, two to one is not bad as well. So I'll show you guys the um, the rank gameplay and you guys uh, can watch and then we'll end the video there. Adapt and survive, you know? Oh my God, that guy's so mad right now. Stream at 280p, whatever it is. 280p? What's 280p? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bobby, how is it are you using like ARs nowadays? Uh, I'd say I'm better now than I was previously. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I guess, man. You, baby. Thanks, bud. I am nasty right now with this shotgun. Yep. It's retreat, not even funny. But sniper. Because today my snipes have been really good, but like if my snipes are not hitting, I literally can't do anything. So I just have to go AR. It was the same way whenever Oof. I played. Uh... Oh, my, your chat's full of bots saying that uh, ADS and shoot is better. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm guessing you told them to say that? <laughs> no, I'm just saying that they're bots for thinking that. That you're not wrong. Exactly. Counter UAB up. Do you realize I meant the way you're playing? Oh my god. Like with the one button. Mm-hmm. Oh, would you play at a low sensitivity? I play on a very low sensitivity. That was... that hit. That absolutely hit. I don't know what happened there, but yeah, I play super low. I'm dead. Oh. oh my god. One like swipe is a 90 degree turn. Enemy UAB yep. spotted. Got this guy off his sight. Oh, just want a nastiest triple kill. Come on. Boy, oh boy. Nope. Oh, I saw it coming at the last second. Dang it. That was a nastiest triple kill shotgun. Could have got a quadra. Really wanted that wall bang. So what, you play low sense and then distance XL? No distance. Fixed. Fixed. Yep. Oh, Cotter shot. I bet Hawk's Nest is the only one who plays on a relatively close sense to me do you play on high why is yeah, that I'm really high uh because of like his video his theory oh uh -oh. i'd imagine he's on a higher sensitivity for that i play on fixed uh 125. oh wow that is really high what is mine I can't uh, just just casually top I, fragging. I'm pretty sure I did a. Hey, look at me, Hitman top frag. Hitman so good. Shotgun only is the meta. <laughs> look here. All right, so that's gonna be it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and hopefully this will help you guys become a better shotgun player. I know a lot of you guys might see me be like, "Oh, Hitman, you still potato a few shots. You're not gonna hit every shot. It's the same thing for snipers. Sometimes you're gonna miss shot. But the cool thing about this is you're gonna beat almost every single gun in close range. MSMC, ASM, snipers. You will beat every single one." If you hit the first shot that's why i love using it and it's slightly shorter range than msmc but if you can hit those shots you can manage to even get triple kills but that's just why i like using it i know a lot of people might be like oh hey man blah 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 look at you take shotguns but still shotguns is just fun for me personally it just gives me kind of like a, a, a cool vibe and stuff like that and if you guys did enjoy please hit that like button and make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet uh, I, I make videos pretty often on this channel all right i'll see you guys next time kill it